welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Now before we take a look at some cool new charade gear, I want to give a shout out to all the fine men and women that put their lives on the line every day in the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. Thank you for serving. Now today we're going to take a look at another new survival tool from Shrade, the Shrade Survival Hatchet. Along the way we'll compare this tool to a few other similar tools like the Bear Grill Survival Hatchet. And before we're all done, we'll talk about who this hatchet is for, who should look for a different tool. Let's get started. The Charade Survival Hatchet SCAXE2 is a pretty handy chopping tool that comes with a thermoplastic belt sheath and a large ferro rod that stores in its handle. The Survival Hatchet comes in three colors, black, orange, and a phosphorescent glow-in-the-dark type handle. The hatchet head is made out of nearly three quarters of an inch or 18 millimeter thick titanium nitride coated stainless steel that tapers to the edge and is molded into a glass fiber filled PA handle that's really proven to be a lot tougher than I expected. Now for those concerned that this tool is not full tang, all I can say is that I've been using this hatchet for several months and the head is not loose at all and there's no sign of weakness anywhere on this tool. The Shred Survival Hatchet weighs around 23 ounces or 655 grams compared to the Bear Grylls Hatchet that weighs in around 18 ounces or 515 grams. The edge came sharp and handled every chopping task that I threw at it and because of the 52 degree included blade angle which is about 26 degrees on each side of the edge, the hatchet blade held up fine when chopping hard and softwood trees and did a great job with finer work like trimming and pointing improvised tent stakes. Now you're not going to want to use this hatchet to slice up your meal at dinner time in camp like you can with the Bear Grylls hatchet, but because of the wider blade angle, the Shred hatchet edge should hold up quite a bit better chopping and splitting wood over the long haul than the Bear Grylls hatchet. Now on the opposite end of the head, there's a very nice sized hammer with a raised notch pattern that is great for tenderizing meat, breaking stuff, turning bark into tinder, and pounding steaks. Now the handle is nearly 12 inches or around 30 centimeters long compared to the 9 inch handle of the Bear Grylls hatchet. The combination of a 3 inch longer handle and a heavier hatchet head makes the Shrade hatchet a more efficient chopping tool than the Bear Grylls hatchet, even though the Bear Grylls hatchet is lighter and takes up less space in my pack. So as usual, there's always trade offs. Now the Shrade hatchet has a tough yet comfortable overmolded rubberized grip with subtle but effective finger cutouts on the top and bottom to keep the hatchet from slipping. Now one of the most interesting things about the Shrade hatchet is that in the butt end of the handle there's a large ferro rod with a sizable grip that has a lanyard attached. The fire steel stores snugly in the handle and is held in place with the rubberized grippy material on the ferro rod handle. Using the hatchet as a striker, the ferro rod threw an impressive amount of sparks. Now although I'd probably be packing fire steel somewhere else in my kit, it's nice to know I've got a backup built into this hatchet and that it didn't cost me anything extra. Now the blade packs away in this thermoplastic kydex like sheath that has a large snap that holds it closed. The sheath is reinforced at the edges with these four grommets. On the back of the sheath, there is a formed loop that fits belts up to 2 inches wide, making this tool pretty easy to carry all day if needed. Overall, the sheath is simple yet effective and keeps the profile of this hatchet package to a minimum. Now let's take a look at owner comments. Owners seem to love the compact size, reduced weight, durability of the tool, and its excellent chopping ability for its size. Everyone seems to love the quality fire steel that's included in this package. Some are concerned like I am about how the sheath will hold up over time and there are mentions of the cheap nylon lanyard cordage that runs through the fire steel handle but this can easily be replaced with quality paracord. So we rate the Shrade Survival Hatchet at 4.5 out of 5 stars in the $30 to $50 US price category for its thoughtful design, compact size, rugged build and excellent performance in the field. Add to this the large fire steel rod that comes with the hatchet and the fact that this hatchet comes in three colors to fit your style give a solid chopping tool that's worth checking out. We may have given this little hatchet a 5 out of 5 star rating if we didn't have concerns about the sheath. Although the sheath is sleek, innovative and works fine, the snap can be a bit tricky to open and close at times. We are concerned about the long term usability and durability of the sheath plastic in extremely low temperatures since plastic can get brittle when temperatures plummet. And one more thing, this hatchet really needs a honed fire steel striker area since the blade is the only place in this tool that was able to produce enough sparks to make me happy. 
So who's the charade survival hatchet for? This hatchet is worth considering for camping, backpacking, hunting, scouts, emergency kits, bug out bags as a reliable tool for just about any outdoor or backyard adventure or as a handsome practical man gift for someone you love. For a smaller full tank survival hatchet, check out the Bear Girl survival hatchet or the SOG hand axe. For more of a full sized yet packable chopping tool, check out the SOG backcountry axe. And for a tactical combat breaching tool, check out the Gerber downrange tomahawk. We've just taken a look at the Charade Survival Hatchet. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.